one of the most exciting chicken dishes anywhere on the planet. Today, we'll be showing you 10 mouth-watering chicken dishes or moments by everyone's favorite potty mouth. How could you compare that, standing next to that roll of furry, sticky, stinky ham? <laughs> We're sure that without the risk of salmonella, we would have chicken sushi. Mm, actually, probably not. Still, chicken is good. Now, onwards onto the mouth-watering chickeny goodness. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon while you're at it. Buttermilk fried chicken with sweet pickled celery. Jack! Hi. Mate, you gonna help with some pickling, please? Oh, definitely. This video begins with Gordon and his son cutting some celery to pickle for the side of their chicken dish and discussing pickling. Off to a good start, then. He then moves on to the chicken, explaining that... Cooking on the bone as well keeps it even more moist. After that, he goes on to pour some buttermilk on that chicken. He explains that leaving it in the buttermilk overnight gives it a chance to work its milky magic and tenderizes it. It starts to sort of really relax the chicken mm -hmm. and puts a really nice sort of creamy, soury flavor in there. He prepares some flour to fry it in by throwing a bunch of spices in. So that's why it gets nice and crispy and blistery on the outside. Appetizing. Seriously. This video is practical because of the golden advice Gordon gives us. Fried chicken every day? No, definitely not. It's a treat and it's shallow fried. When the chicken is done frying, it's served to the family. And guess what? We get to watch them eat it. Hooray! No, not really. Why do you torture us, Gordon? Why? Or do they you call it finger-licking chicken? That's right. Chicken Parmesan Recipe. Chicken Parm, one of the most exciting chicken dishes anywhere on the planet. In this fast-paced video, Gordon takes us through his chicken parmesan recipe. First, he cuts the chicken breast through to the middle and opens it up. That chicken breast is double the size, so it's half as thin. He then rolls it between parchment paper to spread it out, then coats it lightly in flour, egg wash, and then the special breadcrumbs. He then takes it to the next level by repeating the parchment paper trick, but this time, it just secures the crumbs into the chicken a little bit more. The secret behind that is to get that done literally 10 minutes before you cook it, and those breadcrumbs stay on there. He fries the chicken in a tablespoon of grapeseed oil. Two and a half minutes each side. And only turn it once. He tops it with marinara sauce, seasoned mozzarella, and places it in the oven. For garnish, he prepares a broccoli rabe. He takes his freshly boiled spaghetti and mixes it with some marinara sauce and broken up basil. He takes the chicken parm out of the oven, and the exciting part begins. Plating. He first plates the rob, marinara sauce, and then the parm, adding rolled up spaghetti last. That has to be one of the most delicious chicken parms Anywhere. Real Indian food in Delhi. My issue is, are we doing it wrong? Are we faking it? And Delhi's going to give me my answer. He's on his way to one of India's most famous restaurants, Modi Mahal, to get some culinary guidance. This restaurant is where flavored dishes as tandoori chicken were invented. Gordon arrives at the restaurant to meet Seema Chandra, one of India's most respected food writers and restaurant critics. He asks her if there is a difference between the Indian food in England and the food there. I mean, I was shocked that they even call it Indian food. In fact, I have a problem with it. It's not Indian. They Serious? put cream and they put sugar into everything. Yeah. And they think, okay, that's it. That's done. Yeah. They crack open their menus and get to ordering butter chicken and tandoori chicken. Gordon shows his English nature as he starts eating nicely with his utensils, only to be told to eat with his hands to get more flavor. Gordon loves the tandoori chicken and quickly moves on to the butter chicken and exclaims, Bloody hell. It is? Nothing gives me more pleasure than seeing someone eat and saying bloody hell. <laughs> Super Bowl snacks. Gordon Ramsay's chicken wings and turkey sausage roll-ups. It's Super Bowl time in this episode, and today food is celebrating it Gordon style on this episode. You don't call, you don't write. It's been almost five years since you've been here. I've been busy. Gordon is making some fancy schmancy looking chicken wings that we would not mind pigging out on. Gordon starts explaining that to begin the process, they will lollipop the chicken. You sort of almost just take the top off and slide it down. So it's almost like peeling the top of the skin down identifying the bone and then just turning it inside out. He chucks that in the oven and starts the glaze with some honey, olive oil, and some harissa paste. He brings it to a boil and shares that the secret is to put the glaze on while the chicken is still warm. Yes. Show me the ingredients for the next thing. It's your version of a pig in the blanket. Yes, that's right. So we call them sausage rolls. Gordon starts us off with ground turkey and some spices. He rolls it into a sausage shape and freezes it for two minutes. He then wraps it in egg washed puff pastry and cooks it for 18 minutes. Everybody is on cloud nine because of how good they are. If only we had Gordon's mad cooking skills. Skills, right? Also, did you know Gordon is a football fan? Who are you rooting for? Uh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Patriots. Teaching lazy bachelors how to cook. We can do something simple. Cool. Something that won't stress you out, and something can be done quicker than ordering a takeaway. 
What's your idea of helping the community? Is it helping old ladies cross the street or maybe volunteer work? Apparently, Chef Ramsay thinks that teaching lazy bachelors to cook is a noble cause. And we agree with him. After all, who else is going to look after these guys? Okay, either inside or outside. Peanut butter outside. Chocolate inside, right. butter inside, cheese outside. Go away! He decides on teaching them how to make a curry paste, and there is a flurry of activity as they all start with their assigned task. They all focus as they're cutting and dicing and generally doing a good job. Gordon supervises them like a parent and gives them instructions as they go. Don't worry about burning your little fingers. All right. Yeah, on there like that, look. Down. He lifts their spirits and guides them through the complicated process. In true parental style, he insists on adding something healthy, namely green beans. But potatoes in there at the end, but you've got to start eating a little bit healthier. And of course, we can't forget the F-bombs he drops in there for good measure. They don't improve the taste, Gordon. You don't have to be so generous with them. He makes them set the table too. All right, Papa Ramsey, you're doing a great job. They sit around the table with friends and enjoy their food with Gordon, all making promises to not revert back to their unhealthy ways. But let's face it, they'll probably drop those promises like New Year's resolutions as soon as the cameras stop rolling. At least they tried. Hey guys, can you do me a favor right. and stay around the table? Yeah. 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 Cheers, yeah. Yes, sir. And stay off the telephone all day. Stuffed roast chicken with chorizo. There's always something new to learn every day. New ingredients, new techniques, and new cuisines. Gordon Ramsay is in his element in this video. He doesn't slow down as he chops up veggies and makes a stuffing for a roast chicken. He converses with the camera and throws together ingredients like it's nobody's business. Garlic. Garlic in. He brings out his chicken and starts prepping it, cutting bits off and filling it with his scrumptious stuffing. He then seasons the chicken with olive oil, paprika, and salt. He then rubs it all in calmly. You see what the paprika's doing to the chicken. It's putting this, like, sweet, spicy marinade. He pours some water and white wine into an oven pan. Are we going for some drunken chicken, chef? He generously adds thyme sprigs and covers with aluminum foil to keep it moist and juicy before placing it in the oven. After the baking time, he takes it out of the oven to reveal a beautiful brown and crispy chicken. <laughs> Yummers! He takes out the stuffing and separates the gravy, pouring some over the good-looking stuffing. He then starts to expertly cut through the chicken with a big knife. Slice with the point at an angle so you can see the texture of that amazing roast chicken. He takes the gravy and pours it generously over the chicken. A delicious, very charming, stuffed roast chicken. Smoked paprika chicken stroganoff. Normally done with beef, but I'm gonna do it with chicken. This is a really nice, light, healthy approach to stroganoff and so simple to do. Gordon goes on with the instructions and it is almost hard to keep up with him because he's going so fast. But what would you expect from a world famous chef? If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, we would have to leave too. He slices the chicken and adds a whole lot of smoked paprika to those plain strips of chicken. He starts up the oven and heats his pan up. He fries it until it gets color and puts it to rest. For vegetables, he slices onions, green pepper, and garlic. The secret here is we're soaking the vegetables off in the same pan as the chicken, gently infusing the vegetables. The end result looks so good and we're left dreaming about how it would taste. Of course, we could probably just make it ourselves. But who wants to risk it? How about a challenge? Try it at home and send a tweet to Ramsey of your results. We promise not to laugh. Smoked paprika chicken stroganoff with spetsily. Done. Spicy grilled chicken wraps. Grab a mortar and pestle to make a spicy marinade for the chicken. When Ramsay cooks something, he goes all out. There is no microwaving leftovers in the Ramsay house. Case in point, his spicy chicken wraps. He begins by listing off a dizzying array of spices and creating a paste. Coriander, cinnamon, grated nutmeg, cloves of garlic. Then once your paste is ready, which will be missing a few spices if you don't listen carefully, you marinate your chicken. Pop it on the grill after two hours and create your wrap. Voila! A fully cooked delicious meal, all from the comfort of your television screen. Let's face it, we were all just eating ramen or something. We sure wish that eating with your eyes was a thing. Or maybe we need Willy Wonka to hurry up with that magic TV of his. You know, the one where you reach in and grab whatever you want. Wait. He's not real? Yeah, th that can't be right. It's a miracle. It's a TV dinner. It's Wonka Vision. Pan fried chicken breast with morel sauce. Chicken is the nation's favorite meat. We've roasted it, we've stir fried it, we've curried it. This is a new dimension, so with a wonderful, rich morel sauce. Do you think that pan frying a chunk of chicken with some yummy morel sauce sounds like your cup of tea? Apparently, so does Gordon Ramsay. He pats the piece of chicken dry with a dish towel and seasons it, placing it skin side down into the hot pan. He then spices things up with garlic, thyme, and some butter. He flips the chicken onto its other side and pops it into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. Moving on to the morel sauce. You just add boiling water, it rehydrates the mushroom, then there's an added bonus. 
You've got your own mushroom stock. And tosses them into the pan, adding his shallots. Splash the white wine. The white wine starts to sweeten it up. He then adds the stock left by the morels he rehydrated. He lets it reduce and adds a whole lot of cream. He pours the contents of the pan into a sifter. Wonderful color, not too thick. I'm full of flavor. He starts plating the food with grilled asparagus and slices the chicken in half as a sort of mouth-watering centerpiece that would be fine at a wedding table. He covers it in the delicious creamy sauce and all we can say is bon bon Pan-fried chicken with morel sauce. Done. Szechuan chicken thighs. Chicken thighs do a lot of work, so they need more cooking. But cooked properly, they're moist, and they're the tastiest part of the bird. You can do a lot with chicken thighs if you know what you're doing, which obviously Ramsay does. We chose this entry because of the sweet and spicy element, which goes so well with chicken. We love that he uses a wide variety of ingredients, and although we have to listen carefully to keep up with his rock star pace, we cannot wait to get started. Add Szechuan peppercorns and orange zest. Yeah, of course we know why those are different from ordinary peppercorns. Mostly. After watching this short video, we were prepared for battle. Have you ever felt that? way? You watch Gordon teaching you how to cook, then you go out, totally ready to conquer the dish? Yeah, we do too. Of course, the results are never the same, but we probably get points for trying. Not from him, of course, but from our bellies. Sweet and spicy chicken, a fuss-free wonder. There you have it. 10 of the best Gordon Ramsay chicken moments. Were your mouths watering? Then be sure to leave us a comment and a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mouth-watering content.